All right, from the turmoil of Venezuela, let's shift our attention to what is happening in Spain, where thousands took to the streets of Barcelona to protest against the trial of about 12 secessionist Catalan leaders. Now, the protesters burned tires and also blocked highways across northeast Spain. They clashed with the riot police, and the police had to use batons against large groups, as some also resorted to hurling stones at them. About 28 people, including two police officers, were injured in the protest. The police have arrested four people, and the police said that major roads had in fact been reopened after initial obstructions to traffic had been removed. Nadie debería ser juzgado por ideología política y democracia. Y me parece que es absolutamente inaceptable que el gobierno mantenga que la Constitución, que la Constitución, que la Constitución y no deje que estas personas estén en libertad. Por eso estoy aquí esta tarde. Now, the strike had in fact been called by a minority pro-independence labor union in support of the jailed leaders. The separatist leaders, remember, had been arrested after the Catalan parliament had declared independence unilaterally for the region in October 2017. And they were tried for their role in what was a banned declaration of independence in 2017. Now, this bid had triggered Spain's biggest political crisis in over several decades. But the separatist Catalan leaders are facing charges of rebellion and sedition and also misuse of public funds. The separatists, for their part, have denied their charges and their trial began on the 12th of February in Madrid. And the former Catalan business minister, Santi Vila, and the former leader of the grassroots Catalan National Assembly, Jordi Sanchez, have denied charges leveled against them by the government. No, in no moment. Porque en aquellos momentos nadie contemplábamos honestamente que pudiéramos tomar alguna decisión que tuviera consecuencias penales. Ni yo ni mis compañeros. Sencillamente, como he intentado explicar, yo dimití frustrado de haber intentado encauzar este conflicto y de, y de haber fracasado. Y además de tener la impresión de que seguramente los que fallábamos eras, no, éramos nosotros por no ser capaces de serenar el ánimo de nuestros entornos.